Man, I'm gonna be honest with the whole, you know, with DOA6 being in the media now. Cool. I'm not sure what to think of it. Because, to be honest, like, yes, the issue should be in the media, right? Th that's true. What they're doing is shitty, shouldn't happen. And it's good that we're seeing all these articles, all these websites covering it. Even though they, you know, pretty much all fall for the classic Steam total DLC trap. They all just read the number without even thinking. Um, so they get all that wrong. But the idea is correct, right? It's shitty DLC practice with the hair stuff. And, you know, we need to expose that shit. What I don't like about it is everyone on social media being like, yes, we're hitting mainstream news, the game is gonna be fixed, you know? The man on the street winning from the corporations, this is how it should be. And you know what? I don't think anyone is gonna win. This is a lose-lose situation. I guess the only people who are winning are the websites and the YouTubes for making, you know, a uh, trash on DOA video, right? They are winning. The players of DOA are losing, and Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja are also losing. Went all in on a lose-lose. It's true though. Think about it. Like, best case scenario. Absolute best case scenario. Koei Tecmo comes out and is like, look, look, our bad, our bad. The hair stuff is free. You can now freely switch hair style and hair color. No problem. You know, it's on us best case scenario right what's gonna happen nothing we're still in the same position as the game was which to be fair wasn't doing too hot regardless of why you think that is it wasn't doing well um second of all most people who are reading these websites don't play doa will never play doa but are happy to talk about all their friends about the shitty DLC practice they read about. Because guess what? Negativity is cool to talk about these days. So even if you, you're not even remotely close to the game, you're happy to shit on it. You're going to be happy to shit on it. And that's going to continue even if they fix it. Because guess what? If Koei Tecmo fixes this, guess what's not going to be in the news? That they fixed it. Nobody's gonna report on that because that doesn't get clicks. So, the way I see it, the damage has been done, and whether they fix this or not, which it is not gonna fix the game, even if they just fix this hair stuff, let's not forget, it's just hair stuff. That was never the problem to begin with. So, nobody wins. The players are not winning, Koi Tecmo's not winning. Um, this is just a shitty situation all around and, you know, I think the only good thing that might come out of it is if Koei Tecmo listens and changes things, they're probably not likely to try it again. That's the only good thing. If they fix it, they maybe might not try it again. So, you know, small gains. But I don't think this was a good thing for DOA in general. We lost. It was a big lose-lose situation. Yeah, I think, I think, I, I get the allure, right? This is a classic situation of, you know, the man on the street fighting against a big corporation and, ooh, we're making a stink and we're winning because it's in the media and, ooh, the man is being heard, you know? being heard but that's about it that is like the fantasy story we build around it but in reality this is not good for nobody nobody is winning i don't know i'm at the point with this game where i still enjoy the gameplay a lot you know that that has never been an issue for me i always love the gameplay um you know no game is perfect but this one has been really enjoyable um, the DLC has been lackluster and this newest hair fiasco um, you know there's a reason it's in the media it is shitty and it should have been in the media 
I keep seeing people complain about the costumes being impossible to unlock to, even though that's been fixed a long time ago. I mean, look, again, this is the problem, right? Are these all, all these YouTubers, all these articles, everyone who watches those are people who never even touch this game. All they want to do is shit on games, you know, and then go out, go whatever. They go to another website to shit on some other game. That's all they're doing. They don't care. They don't care about this game. The, the amount of comments that I've read on all these articles, you know, complaining about costumes, complaining about SJWs ruining this game, and then the next comment being, this game is super sexist, whatever, right? It's crazy, you know? It's crazy to me. But like I was saying, where I am at with this game is, you know, clearly it's not doing too hot. And I'm just gonna enjoy the game as long as it lasts. That was my biggest mistake with DOA 5. I, thinking back on it, I should have played that game way more. Before people ran away from the game, um, I should have been playing that a lot more. So that's what I'm planning to do with this game. I'm gonna play it until I'm literally not finding matches. Or until they like literally pull the plug or something, right? Other than that, that's kind of it, right? We'll see what the future brings. We'll see if they're gonna react, if they're gonna change anything. My guess, uh, no. Because again, all these people making a lot of noise, a lot of them probably don't even play the game. They just like making noise. Being part of a crowd, you know? So that's kind of how I feel about this complaining. It started with the players, which is a genuine complaint, right? The players do not want this kind of bullshit. And then, you know, all these other people just, oh, we're shitting on a game? Let's go! Just enjoy the game while we still have people playing. That is my plan. That is the way I look at the game now. I'm I'm done expecting things. I'm I'm done waiting on improvements or whatever, right? Um, I'm gonna enjoy the game as it is. You know, because the gameplay to me is good, it's fun, and that's what I'm gonna do. And if the game at some point ends and we're gonna have to wait years on DOA 7 or maybe never, you know. We had a good run.